I think you should yeah. be able to see the screen now. Uh, so, um, yeah. my name is uh, Dirk Koot, uh, and I'm heading or leading the quantitative MR imaging uh, image reconstruction uh, theme within the biomedical imaging group, in which I'm also a assistant professor. Um, so, quantitative MR imaging, uh, that means we want to quantify tissue properties. And in MR, that uh, could be, for example, the T1 relaxation time. And that is different compared to the normal weighted MR images in which the Gravel scale value or the image intensity doesn't have an objective meaning. Um, so, uh, yeah, typically, for quantitative MR imaging, we have to acquire several different weighted images, each with different contrast states, in order to be able to identify or to quantify the T1 value or other tissue properties. One of the projects that we have is uh, by uh, uh, Rivas, a PhD student at our group, uh, and it is the on direct reconstruction of the MR acquisitions. Is my connection still alive? Yes. Okay, then it's just the screen that is now kind of frozen. Well, so the, the picture that I want to show is on the, uh, it is direct reconstruction. So typically uh, the, the process is to acquire with images with different contrast states, but each of those acquisitions take some, uh, some time and typically quite some time. And then only after acquiring the data for all of the acquisitions, we can do the T1 or T2 mapping. Uh, but, I uh, but we think there is a substantial poss possibility of accelerating that process or ac accelerating the acquisition process by omitting a large fraction of the data in each of the individual acquisitions and then not intermediately reconstruct uh, MR images but directly go to wait uh, to the weighted images. Now I do want to go to the next slide. Um, sorry, I'll stop sharing for a second to resolve this. Yep, now it's working again. Um, another project that we have um, is the uh, valid project. Uh, sorry, uh, there is a which is a project where we all want to use a different form of quantitative MRI, namely diffusion weighted MRI, um, uh, and correlate that to pathology. The aim of that uh, project, which is in collaboration with the radiotherapy department in the Erasmus MC, is to validate diffusion weighted imaging for head and neck cancer patients and validating that in relation to uh, lymph nodes uh, the pathology. So the aim of that that we want to answer is whether diffusion weighted MRI can be used as a predictor for early treatment response uh, and for that validation with uh, pathology which is still considered gold standard is uh, crucial. Uh, so the f workflow of the VALID project is uh, to acquire MRI scans and then that in a group of patients for which some lymph nodes in the neck will be resected. And that allows us to create a, a pipeline where the histology is uh, collected and also matched to the MRI scans. But we need uh, someone we would like we have a project on actually performing that registration and analysis uh, process in collaboration with the radiotherapy department 
Another project that uh, we have at this moment is in collaboration with the musculoskeletal group of the radio Department of Radiology uh, about knee osteoarthritis. Uh, as was mentioned earlier today, uh, knee osteoarthritis is a very prevalent uh, joint disorder and has uh, severe complications uh, in terms of quality of life. Uh, so one of the uh, studies that is currently ongoing is the NEO study and that is a randomized controlled trial in which actually some of the arteries are embolized. There is a small region of the uh, yeah of, uh, of the knee that is often causing pain and by blocking the blood in those arteries uh, seems or is pre predicted to be a good treatment of that uh, uh, of those pain symptoms but of course that needs to be evaluated properly and to evaluate that properly we also use uh, MRI and a specific form of MRI which is uh, the few uh, dynamic contrast enhanced MRI um, in which the contrast agent enters the is injected intravascular uh, and enters then the knee region. So there is a signal change due to the washing of the contrast agent and we have some analysis methods for that but we need to make that applicable to the randomized control trial study. So really streamlining, the, this project is really about streamlining the analysis and designing an analysis method that is applicable for such a uh, yeah, randomized control trial study. Summarizing, uh, in the quantitative MR reconstruction group, we have currently three projects on direct quantitative MRI reconstruction, correlating diffusion weighted images to pathology and creating a DC analysis uh, pipeline to do that DCE analysis properly. So if you're interested, please join group channel H on the quantitative MRI uh, chat, uh, which has a Teams link that you can join for the chat session. Thank you for your attention.